Cancer remains a leading cause of death across the Middle East. Rising life expectancy, lifestyle changes, and regional instability contribute significantly. This places immense pressure on healthcare systems, affecting individuals, families, and communities. Yet, within these challenges lie emerging opportunities. Countries such as Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Jordan are advancing cancer registries, expanding early detection, and promoting universal health care. These initiatives reflect a broader regional effort to reimagine cancer control through collaboration and local innovation. In Jordan, we are at a pivotal moment. Cancer is the second leading cause of death, and cases are projected to rise by 50% over the next decade. Yet, our response is not only about numbers. It's about building a system that's people-centered, equitable, and resilient. The 10-year strategy developed by local experts in this world highlights several urgent priorities developing the public education and awareness, expanding systematic screening beyond the breast cancer, and improving access, especially for underserved groups like refugees. Jordan has a strong medical tradition and a dynamic health workforce, but there are gaps, such as fragmentation between public and private sectors, lack of integrated screening services, and rising the cost of treatment. Tackling these challenges requires not just more resources, but smarter collaboration between ministers, between institutions, and crucially, with the communities we serve. Cancer is becoming a major health concern in Saudi Arabia, with cases expected to double in the next 20 years as the population grows older. A national white paper that looks at cancer control can highlight and draft policies, especially when that paper comes with expert opinion, data-driven, and also respond to current challenges like COVID-19 and respond to new WHO initiatives and bring local context need. Saudi Arabia healthcare system has gone through a huge transformation as part of the Saudi Vision 2030, and cancer care is key part of that. Major progress has been made in cancer care over the last 20 years in Saudi Arabia, but still more work is needed, and especially around early detection, prevention, treatment, palliative care, and survivorship. We also need to explore new opportunities like multi-cancer early detection, clinical trials, cancer trend in young adults, and how artificial intelligence can be improved and integrated with cancer care to complement it. Qatar's cancer care journey is guided by successful national frameworks, beginning with the National Cancer Strategy in 2011 to reach Qatar Cancer Plan 2326. Over the past decades, Qatar has made substantial investment in oncology services, significantly enhancing infrastructure, integrating cutting-edge technologies, and cultivating high-skilled multidisciplinary teams. However, challenges persist, particularly concerning public awareness early screening, and equitable access to care. Our cancer plan emphasizes robust awareness campaigns, deployment of mobile screening units, enhancing care coordination, and clinical research excellence. In alignment with WHO objectives for the Eastern Mediterranean region, Qatar aims to become a leading center for cancer care excellence and a catalyst for regional collaboration. We are proud to contribute to this ambitious endeavor and to share Qatar experience. This is a beginning for a fruitful cooperation to lower global cancer burden. So together, we will create the impact the world is looking for. The UAE is a global hub for innovation, but in recent years has witnessed a sharp rise in cancer incidents 28% between 2019 and 2021 alone. This rise, driven by demographic shifts and improved cancer registry reporting, places considerable pressure on our healthcare system. 
The UAE has a unique, predominantly young population, over 85% are expatriates, which brings both opportunities and challenges in cancer control. Despite strong investment in health infrastructure and increases in screening, screening uptake is not yet high enough. Care is fragmented and insurance gaps persist. A fully implemented national cancer control plan is urgently needed, as are innovative and sustainable payment models. Early detection needs to be expanded, accrediting cancer centres, integrating palliative and survivorship care, and enhancing the cancer registry. Public-private partnerships and greater investment in research are also key. With inclusive, data-driven reform, we hope the UAE can build equitable, world-class cancer care and inspire action across the region. The Middle East is a robust region facing a multitude of geopolitical and economic challenges, but yet striving for progress. Situated in geographic proximity, Jordan, Saudi Arabia and Qatar are home to a collective population of about 50 million people. These countries enjoy internal stability, a strong governmental commitment to health care, and the provision of universal free cancer care services to their citizens. However, disparities still exist within each country and within the region. What if we can leverage the common goals and common challenges to synergize regional work in cancer control and help build resilience in healthcare, ultimately achieving healthcare sustainability in the face of a definite growing future burden of cancer? In this series, we introduce an exciting alliance between local experts in Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Jordan demonstrating achievements, knowledge gaps, shared challenges and even more importantly, opportunities for synergy. From primary prevention, working on lifestyle modification, to early detection with targeted culturally sensitive campaigns, to collaboration on cutting-edge patient-centric cancer care. Cross-border task forces focusing on harmonized registries, collaborative research networks in clinical trials, and research on rare cancers, in addition to uh, regional conferences are highly needed to powerfully tackle the disparities regionally and ultimately globally. The Lancet Oncology Series on Cancer Control in the Middle East outlines this strategic alliance, demonstrating how countries with shared cultural and demographic profiles can work together on clinical guidelines, regional cancer registries, and shared research. Whether it's harmonizing data or launching joint prevention campaigns, this kind of regional cooperation would offer a model for other parts of the world. At its heart, this is a call for coordinated, equitable, and context-aware cancer control, grounded in the realities of our people and powered by the promise of partnership.